on my screen you're gonna see that i have some orders in queue i'm on fiverr.com the first order is for five dollars and this order will be due in four hours nine minutes so i have four hours nine minutes to complete this order and the status says in progress the second order is also for five dollars it says due in three days three hours status is in progress and the third order is for fifty dollars and this order will be due in six days five hours status says in progress so right now i'm just going to refresh my screen so that you would know this is real this is um legit and i have five dollars um twenty dollars as my balance on fiverr so if i come over here and refresh my screen you're going to see that this is legit this is not um this is not fake this is real many people have been writing me on instagram telling me they have challenge getting sales on fiverr as a seller most of them have been begging me to tell them what to do um how to do it what are they doing wrong and the truth of the matter is i just discovered that these days it's it's kind of competitive to get sales on fiverr especially as a new seller and that is what this video is about so if you want to know how to get sales on fiverr keep on watching hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is good one so if this is your first time here you're very very welcome in today's video i'm going to talk about how to get sales on fiverr many people like i said have been writing me telling me about their challenges getting sales on fiverr especially as a newbie trust me these days it is very very difficult to get clients on fiverr especially as a beginner so that is why i'm making this video to show you guys um uh, some hot tips that you need to do if you must get um sales on fiverr especially as a newbie so the very first thing is um for you to get sales on fiverr your gig needs to stand out yes that is the very very first thing you need to do because the competition is high the only reason why somebody would want to hire you um instead of hiring the next person um, um uh, uh, the next person or the next gig close to your gig is if they see something that attracts them to your gig so that is why your gig must stand out that's the very first thing that attracts potential buyers that comes on fiverr it is how they see your gig look at other people's gig in your category and ensure your gig stand out look at your price is your price reasonable is it affordable especially as a beginner you need to set a price that is um very very affordable and very very cheap so that people will hire you instead of going for those um guys that um their price is kind of high so you need to set your price um uh, um very very low use a short title that's another thing most people use um very long titles on on their gig i don't understand why somebody should be using a whole paragraph as a title as a gig title that tends to like um put some bias off because nobody has the time to read a full title just because um they want to buy something on fiverr so keep your title your gig title keep it short simple and easy to understand then make sure you're using a gig video most of us tend to use just a gig um picture that is cool but that is not um so so cool because even fiverr by themselves they advise freelancers to add a gig video um on their profile videos tend to convert more than pictures so make sure you're using a gig video and a gig picture so you if you have just a gig picture on your fiverr make sure you are adding a gig video as well so make sure you go back and fix that if you're a newbie and you're about creating your fiverr gig make sure you add a gig video alongside your gig picture that is very very important and make sure your gig video is high quality and eye catching it should be attractive it should be something that you know can um kind of persuade somebody to want to buy something from you make sure you do that that is very very key after setting a reasonable price and setting an eye um, catching gig the next thing is to use xeo to help your gig get found now even if you have the best price on fiverr your 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 gig is five dollars for both the premium um package people need to see your gig for them to even know that okay this is the cheapest gig on fiverr this gig is eye-catching this gig is irresistible they need to see it to even know that okay i'm going for this gig because this gig is just what i want right now so make sure you do your xeo very well 
I'm talking about search engine optimization. Optimize your gig in a way that people searching on Fiverr can find your gig. Because if nobody sees your gig, they won't order. The very first thing that will make people to even click on your gig title, your gig um, thumbnail, or gig um, yeah, gig, gig thumbnail, is if you optimize your gig in a way that when people come on Fiverr, what am I saying? If people come on Fiverr, like. This is the Fiverr platform, right? As in me, I'm searching for, let's say I'm searching for website designer. I type website designers. You, you're going to see that many people's gig are on this page, right? Now, the reason why these people's gig are on this page is because of the fact that they did, um, why they were, up, um, why they were setting up their gig, their gig title, their gig description, their gig tags. They made sure that they did it in a way that when people come on fiverr like i just did and go to the search and type something that is related to their gig their, their gig thumbnail is going to pop up or their gig video you can see all these people you can see all these people i will create or recreate squarespace website design you can see that most of these people they are using a very very short title like i said earlier this one says i will design a unique creative website that is so simple and easy to understand avoid using long long um long title that is too long if you see some um most people's title on fiverr it is unnecessarily too long so make sure you do that make sure you do your xcos so that when people are searching on fiverr your gig is going to show like all these people's gig that um, we are seeing here that's another important thing to do seo is very very important especially on fiverr especially these days that getting um says is very very um difficult make sure you do your seo seo is one thing that will kind of like um make your gig a standing seo is something that can easily make your gig get found and then when people find your gig and see your gig you have an eye-catching thumbnail you have your the video on your profile looks very very attractive and very eye-catching you have good price and of course everything is on point why wouldn't they hire you so that's another hot tip for you to take note of then another thing is make sure you're using the fiverr app i've said this countless times in this channel get the fiverr app on your phone if you're using a, a, an android phone get it on play store if you're using an iphone get it on apple store getting the fiverr app is very very important and the reason is this with the fiverr app it is easier for you to just log in and it is easier for you to monitor your your um dashboard on fiverr the thing with fiverr is um those sellers that are always online tend to like get more visibility and another advantage of always being online as a seller is the fact that when people come on fiverr and they're looking for um a service to uh, to buy most of them tend to like filter the search by those online because they want to chat with some some of them don't have time right they want to chat with people that are online that they can just people that are online that can just reply back immediately and then they, they 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 conclude if they are going to hire that person or not you see this button here on fiverr it says if i'm looking for um website designers that are online all i need to do is just to come here and then click this button it's going to fit it to those that are online so you can see all this green this little um what's it called you can see this thing here it shows that this person is online this green cycle this green small cycle here shows that this person is online okay so um most buyers tend to like search for sellers that are online because most of them are in a hurry to hire somebody or buy a service so when they come on fiverr they just search and then narrow down their search to those that are online people that they can just communicate with and then they decide and conclude if they should hire the person or not because they don't want to go on fiverr then go off again and then come back later on if i click on this gig and chat to the person the person is going to reply almost immediately and that is what most buyers do because they don't have the time to start coming on fiverr like every other day or every minute of the day so that's another important thing to take note of that is why the fiverr um app is very important so you can just open your fiverr app and then once your data is on it's going to show that you're online so you can you can visit the app like maybe every one hour just to ensure that you're online and then refresh the page to make sure that you're online that is also going to help with your ranking and it's going to give you the chance to like um get sales on time 
ensure you're always online ensure you reply fast to messages a customer on fiverr can contact five sellers at a time i do this all the time when i'm on fiverr and i want to buy something on fiverr i tend to like um write maybe three people in that same category that says that same service the reason i'm doing that is because i want to converse with them right and maybe go for the one that um i think suits me best but the thing is a seller that comes on fiverr most of them contact up to like five um sellers and from my experience most times the person who replies first tends to get the buyer's attention and then that converts to hiring the person that converts to sales so make sure you always reply fast to messages so that as the person is on fiverr chatting with you you are there to reply the person and then before you know what is happening the person has ordered your gig so that is another important thing to take note of then lastly the very last tip that many people are running away from is the fact that as, especially as a new seller on fiverr you must promote your gig by yourself if you don't do this fiverr is not going to send you any organic buyer these days is even like it's becoming a, a, a normal thing like these days for you to get sales on fiverr you have to promote your gig and get some initial sales and reviews before you start getting sales organically this is why many sellers are complaining they don't have um they've been on fiverr for a very long time but have not made any sales fiverr is fiverr is not strict if you don't promote your gig it will be difficult for you to get um sales organically so you just have to help yourself make sure you're promoting your gig once you start getting those um sales once you start getting initial those initial sales maybe five sales ten sales and then you're getting reviews server is going to see your gig and then the algorithm is going to start directing their um traffic towards your gig so that is very important and many people have been practicing this i also practice this as well if you come over to facebook search for those freelancers on facebook you're going to see that most of them most of them are uh, are using this method they are using um facebook method to drive traffic because they understand that they are waiting for fiverr they are just going to wait forever so some of them are using facebook to um direct traffic to their gig and then after getting those um, initial seeds fiverr will not start sending them traffic organically so i advise you do that so i'm on facebook now the first one says social media post design this person is a seller on fiverr how did i know this person is a seller on fiverr if you go over to the person's website see the person's about um, section the website says fiverr.com so if i click on this um link it's going to take me to fiverr so this person is a social media um post designer and he's not just waiting for fiverr to send him traffic this page right here for website design again if you go to the about section you're going to see that this is a fiverr link it says fiverr.com so this is a fiverr link if i click on this link it's going to take me to fiverr now this person's um so if i click on this link it's going to take me to fiverr okay so this is the person's um gig on fiverr you can see that the person has um some reviews on fiverr so that is the way to go if you really want fiverr to start giving you um traffic these things i just mentioned are very very important i hope this video helps if you got something from this video if you learned something if you got value make sure you like this video i'll see you guys in another video for now bye